So, hello everybody, this is the boss from Nubigrade, Nubigrade and Yu-Gi-Oh! CC nowadays. Now I told everyone that I was gonna do a custom card scripting tutorial a long time ago and I never got around to it, but I'm gonna do it right now. So, in our last video we coded a card co called Link and we gave him effect that this card can be destroyed by battle and this card gains 200 attack for each warrior in your graveyard. Now my computer changed so I don't have the picture anymore and I can make the picture later for this, it's not relevant to making the card. So let's start with the really basic of scripting, what you will need. You should go into your Yu Gear Pro and then find your scripts folder and then copy any of these scripts files really copy it onto your desktop for say I copied this one copy paste like this copy paste and then rename it to the card number that you want to code for example link has the one two three four five six seven eight and I renamed it right there but you would go into the card script delete everything delete this everything and then change this number and then change this to the name simple now since I've already done it I changed the name of the file and I deleted everything from here so you will have this uh, this is the blank script that you will build upon uh, every other card that you uh, well one of the cards that you want to code now let's look at this first effect it's a really basic effect it cannot be destroyed by battle it gains um, it cannot be destroyed by battle let's to find an effect that you need for this you could look at hmm just typing here cannot be destroyed I can't type today by battle and then you would look at these cards hmm yeah Yubel yeah cannot be destroyed by battle yeah yeah so just take the first one that's the simplest form if it's uh, cannot be destroyed after using a certain effect or something like that that's not what we want we just want this card cannot be destroyed by battle and it's right there on Yubel this card cannot be destroyed by battle so what do we do with this information? Well, you look at this ID number here. Right there, you see it's 31764700. And you go into your uh, scripts folder and search for that. C31764700. And here we have Yubel, uh, I'm sorry, Yubel, the ultimate nightmare script. You open it, and this has all these types of things. But we're only looking for the indestructible battle, right? So here it says something like, these are comments, these double dots, usually used to name the card, usually used to name the effect, like here, this is something related to damage, this is cannot be special summoned, that's the Yubel summoning condition, this is something related to battle. Hmm, okay. So then we look at this. It has set code, which means the card will have this effect. This, since this is a basic effect, it will only need this set code. And effect avoid battle damage. Now, that's not what we want, right? But you can clearly understand what this effect does. It means when you do uh, battle with Yubel, you can, uh, don't get any uh, battle damage. We need the second one, which here reads effect indestructible battle okay so what do you do with it you take the script files in here you copy and paste it here now let's name the effect in this battle for example and there we have it now if you were to put this script file into your yu gi -Oh pro yeah, yeah. Uh, if you were to put this script file into your Yu-Gi-Oh Pro and then you would play your link card, it couldn't be destroyed by battle. Yeah, 
Simple enough, right? Now, the second effect of link. This card gains 200 attack for each warrior in your graveyard. Actually, now, since this is again a pretty popular effect, you can look at something like, hmm, this card gains 100 attack mm, for each, hmm, oh, for each, um, uh, this card gains 100 attack for each machine type monster in the field. Hmm, yeah, that could, uh, we can use that if we don't find anything else. This card gains 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. We could use that. Hmm. For each monster your opponent, no, we don't want that. But yeah, this is how you look for effects in cards. You type it in, in here, look for the card with the similar effect text, and then you use Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro script folder to search for the script that the card has. So let's use machine gain for this one. Its ID is four six seven zero zero one two four. We open the script file, and it's right here. It says attack up. So we know this is the effect. Again, we copy it over. Now, it has this little thing value which means how much it will gain the attack and where it will get the attack from. Now we look here, these are effects that call to different parts in the script below. If they're like here, this one doesn't have anything to call to, this is empty, this space. It doesn't know what effect it should read. So we need to get the value from here val and copy it over here so now it knows to call upon this script when it needs to look for the attack but then you look at this effect you're like yeah dual get matching group count this means get matching group count uh, aka get the amount of cards or get the group of cards that have this uh, matching param param parameter that we're looking for. Then it says something like some strange thing called filter. This filter is the one that defines what the card is supposed to be like. In Machine King's example, it's the machine type monsters. And it is usually found either above or below the value that you're looking for. And in this case, it's below the value. This filter says, this will look at the filter, yeah, this is filter, can I find it somewhere in the script? Oh, it's right here, it's this one. So what does the filter say? The card is face up. It needs to be face up. And C is race machine. It needs to be a machine type monster. If it were a warrior type monster, this would not work since it checks for machines only. So we need this filter as well. Here. Now, when you're looking through here, indestruct in in by battle, it will say E set type, effect type single. Effect type single means it will only affect this card. We'll go into the more effect types later, but this only means it affects this card. Set code, effect indestructible battle. This means it's indes by battle, and it only, since it's a simple effect, it only needs this set code. If we were to make it more parameters, that it would only destroy, could be destroyed, uh, I mean, it would be indestructible to one attack, or something like that, we would change this. But for now, we can keep it as it is. Set value, one, means it's always active, you don't need to do anything else about this. Then we go below, attack up, 
set type eff effect type single again it only affects this card no one else set property this is usually property is when you have card targeting something or uh, when you have if effects or if and when you know and when it can be used in the damage step or not this will get more clear to you as you code more cards but usually just follow what the card has and in this case the property is that effect flag single range which means it will only affect this card if this could be changed that it would uh, affect the whole field or stuff like that but since we're not looking for that we're only looking to gain attack from one the, the one monster then set code what it does it's gonna update our, our attack then set range where the card needs to be when the effect is active it needs to be in the location monster zone then the value the value of the attack that we're gonna get and it's gonna call upon this value here it will check dual get matching group count and it will check this filter okay where is this filter found it's found right here what does the filter say it needs to be face up for now and it needs to be a, a machine now in order to change it to what we want with the graveyard we go a little bit here it will say C get controller this means the card itself will not be it will be the target yes the card itself will be the target then these two location monster zones are the fields that it will affect this will get from my side of the field and the opponent side of the field now in order to change this to graveyard we cha simply change location M zone to location grave now since we don't want from the opponent's side of the field not or from their graveyard we change this to simple zero then nil I'm not exactly sure what this nil can be oh yeah this nil can be edited if you don't use the filter but since we use the filter we don't uh, you can simply leave the nil here now times 100 we have 200 in our card it says 200 attack while machine king only gains 100 attack so we change this to 200 this could be 1000 1 million whatever the number now since cards in the graveyard cannot be face down we can remove this line if cards in the graveyard could be face down we would keep the face up and then race instead of machine we put warrior simple now this uh, this in its own will not do anything we need to take the cards number that is found at the very top that we put on the card and replace all the machine kings numbers with our card number in this way if we were to let, uh, leave them be as the machine kings numbers it could not find the correlation between this number and the machine kings number and it will say an error this is not a number that is um, affecting this card we cannot I cannot use this effect but we change the numbers here copy this one into here 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 and here now we can go ahead and test this card we can close machine game no we don't want to save it never save official scripts since they are official and they're kept up to date by the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy's group don't go messing with them you copy the script file into your script folder it's right there great now let's just put some random cards into our deck for it to gain the in the graveyard effect so for example foolish burial is a really good card to send them to the graveyard then we need um, 
warrior type monsters, so Dineb is a good card, then just some random random stuff. Eh, that's enough. Then we go out of deck edit and go into AI mode. Have don't check uh, deck enabled and don't shuffle deck enabled. Don't check deck in uh, checks if your card is uh, deck is below 40 cards. If it is, it will error out and not let you use that deck. And don't shuffle deck is if your deck if you want to have a specific order in your deck, you would use this one. Press OK. Start. Now link, summon, activate. Let's send to Gennett. And it will gain the 200 attack. Yay! Pretty simple, right? <laughs> 